We begin this half hour with the latest on a baggage theft ring that operated at Los Angeles International Airport. Investigators say baggage handlers stole thousands of dollars worth of valuables ranging from expensive cameras to high fashion clothing. At least six people have been arrested so far. Brandon Scott has more. In the late night hours on Wednesday, after serving more than two dozen search warrants, Los Angeles police arrested six current or former LAX baggage handlers, all accused of stealing valuables from unsuspecting travelers. The arrests came after a months long investigation that sent police undercover to find out who was behind a recent rash of luggage thefts. After the luggage was placed on the conveyor, before it went into the plane, uh, they would just unzip and reach in and take whatever kind of valuable property they could find, whether it was jewelry, iPads, uh, you know, expensive clothing. Once they stole these items, what did they do with them? Uh, they would sell them on uh, even, you know, on Craigslist, on eBay. Michael Himes is the assistant chief of police at Los Angeles International Airport, where baggage thefts increased last year by 37%. The airport is the country's third busiest and handles a yearly average of 54 million pieces of luggage, prime targets for would-be thieves. But it's not just L.A. At airports across the country, crooks are preying on passengers. In November, Denver police arrested this man for stealing luggage from the baggage claim. Surveillance video in Houston caught this man committing the same crime. And at New York's JFK, $160,000 worth of watches and jewelry was stolen out of a single suitcase. It's awful. It is. I mean, Jessica Frazier violent. Gage flew from Arizona to Los Angeles. Thankfully, everything in her suitcase arrived. Nobody wants their stuff either stolen or gone through. You put it in there and you hope it's the same way when you get it back again. Even though police have busted the baggage thieves here at the airport, authorities believe the crimes could stretch beyond the suspects in custody. So in the weeks to come, police could serve more warrants and make even more arrests. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Brandon Scott, Los Angeles.